Ladies and gentlemen, it is the WWE Raw Wrap Up on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, part of the Wrestling Mayhem Show Network. That was a motorcycle going by. Right here, live in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, with me on the line from Poughkeepsie, New York. He is the toy man extraordinaire. He is the only one with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is bad. Mike. Hey, Sorg. Things actually happened on Raw tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on that argument. And so let's let's get into this. So, so is Mad Mike? Let's yeah, have a discussion sorry. about your sauciness on Twitter that that riled everybody up tonight. Oh, okay, all right. I, to be fair, uh, to clarify my previous statements from last week, I was not being saucy. I was just being observant. Observant. Because, <laughs> observant. And, because is, I really... and it's nothing new. And I want to say, the discussion, if you listen to the show, it's nothing new that happened that got unveiled on Twitter tonight. Oh, no, definitely not. It's it's something I literally talk about, like, every other week. Mm -hmm. But it just occurred to me that it's been over six months since the Universal Champion has had a match on Raw. And to which I responded, wait, we have one time? Other than the parts <laughs> where I just started talking about the universe. So Yes. Yeah, they, you just kept you just kept getting mystic with it. And I'm like, oh Sork. I was thinking more Sork galactic. Sork trying to be you walk through the watcher. <laughs> something like that. Something like that. We were having a lot of fun with it tonight. To the point where um and, and I know like somebody like came to your defense and, and, and you know, and I don't think they, they didn't realize that we were all kind of messing around with each other <laughs> and, and things and having a healthy debate, I thought. Like you and Bobby, I thought were going back and forth and being okay, and and and, and that's that's fine, right? Um, well, it's it's funny because it's the two wrestling podcasts I I I have in my iPod, the one I'm on, <laughs> and the one I listen to. So it's like podcast versus podcast, global warfare. It was pretty great. Actually. It kind of was. And it kind of was. A little bit. And then it just degenerated into a conversation about pop figures because Bobby had an excellent picture of Brock Lesnar. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like that other <laughs> podcast like was an ooh shiny and started talking pop figures with Bobby, and he made a new best friend. Um, <laughs> it, so, so we we can we can plug. What is the other podcast that that we were involved with? Today? Oh, uh, no, it's the uh, Smart Wrestling Fan Show. Mm. They're they're actually a very good podcast. Uh, they they review every show like they go segment by segment, talk everything that happened on every show. They're really, oh, really fun. It's and one of those also... it's one of those organized podcasts. Son of a bitch. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they also do not curse. What the fuck? They do not curse. <laughs> yeah, no, it, no, it's a it's a really good show though. Like I listened to I started listening to them about the same time I started listening to this show. Mm -hmm. So I think they have like six months on us. But it's you know it's a it's a pretty good stretch. Wait wait they got six months on stretch. on on the uh, the show or are you finding the on, show on us and, and length lengthwise. What they, no way? They've been going. They've been, yeah, they've been going about six months longer than the Mayhem show. No, six to eight I want to yeah, see the papers. Not even, joke, not even joking. You're telling me they started before January twenty sixteen or two thousand six. Yep. Son yeah. Of a bitch. Son yeah. of a bitch! I thought yeah. we had it. No, I'm, I'm telling you, because I started. I was, I was like, because you, like, for those of you who know me, I'm kind of a completionist. When I started listening to this show and that show, I downloaded all the previous episodes <laughs> to catch up to where I was when I started listening to the podcast. About and our six, stat numbers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. There's that. I, I really... By the way, if this is your first time listening to to our show. What I recommend is to download every single episode before this. Yeah, do the download all. And then by the time you catch up, John Cena will be in Bumblebee 4. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Sorg, um, Raw, Raw, Raw tonight. Raw was interesting. All right, let's talk about the part where... Uh, Roman Reigns and John Cena simply recited the international wrestling or the in internet wrestling community's Twitter feeds. I think I think Cena just listened to the Raw wrap up last week. <laughs> we don't we don't get that I mean, deep. Wait, like, do we really? Okay. Oh wait, wait. Last I was week. Say, oh no, last I week. Got, yeah. I got, pretty, I got pretty deep on it last week. <laughs> if pretty you deep, pretty intense, and I think Cena was just like, you know, that kid's got a point. <laughs> 
First of all, we're not going to justify what happened last week, okay? No, no we're not going to we're not going to talk about what happened last week cuz it got it got pretty ugly last week. And uh and if you did listen last week, I'm sorry. And Yes, last week last week was my beach ball mania and I apologize. We, <laughs> your beach ball mania. He's <laughs> <laughs> Beach ball mania running wild, Sork. It, it, it's like he just ran out in the crowd. He just ran into the street here in Beachview and took the podcast microphone and ripped it up and threw it on the ground <laughs> and let it get hit by a train. Yes. Just like Mickey James. <laughs> yes, yes. Right by out the way, there. Right Mickey at that. James. See, right in the middle of the street is the remnants of last week's podcast uh, uh, microphone. And they ignore that it said there's an interview on there if you're on video. But anyways, hello. Um, yes. So, uh, yeah, so Cena and Reigns. Um, wait, uh, wait, <laughs> Tina, Tina's saying it's where the kettle just was just dumped all over that segment. Yep, pretty much. Sounds about accurate. Um, but yeah, it just um, now I have a question, Sork. I, I have a question. Um, how much fourth wall breakage do you like in your John Cena? I, 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 you know, I never really thought about fourth wall in pro wrestling. Really? Like when they say promo and, and shoot and over and things like that? I guess that, that I mean, I guess that is that, but I don't, I don't think of it in that, in those terms, I guess. Right. I mean, fourth wall is kind of like kayfabe. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, Cena was Cena was almost too good tonight. Mm-hmm. Like, like when he was saying Roman couldn't keep up, he literally meant Roman will not be able to keep up with me in this promo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, ugh. but but he it didn't, got, uh, and 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 it, it doesn't it feel a little bit a little bit like the Rock Cena thing where they were just calling each other out on their shit. And calling each other out on the stuff that, you know, everybody calls them out for, right? Well, I mean, but but people calling Cena out on his stuff, that's not new. No. Like, like Cena even said it. No, that's no. Not new. It's, it's been done to death at this point. No, and Reigns is just kind of joining the party. Yeah, but I I still don't think anyone – because you can tell what Rock, is say, what Rock was saying was not scripted. Mm-hmm. You can tell Roman is a kid in a play trying to remember his lines. As was demonstrated tonight and called out. Yeah, like, and it just, it's seen, like, Cena, I'm not sure if it's Cena's delivery, if Cena's more, just more off the cuff and has bullet points, Mm -hmm. but Roman definitely seems like he's reciting things. Yeah, definitely. Like, there, there were a few offhanded insert comments that I thought Roman was way better with. Like when he's telling him just to shut up for a minute. That was great. You could tell that was not scripted. Mm-hmm. But when Roman gets to the line like, oh, John Cena's the only one who can't see me. I'm like, oh, God. Who, like that doesn't who, even who make handed sense. You that one? Who, who handed you that one, Roman? Yeah, like can we have the person who wrote the Pelvis Wesley segment right <laughs> All of Raw. Damn it! I was gonna completely segue into that and talk about the the best segment of Raw tonight. Yep, <laughs> hands down. And it looked like it was gonna be the worst segment. You wanna? Hey, do I'm you? Not, I'm not even gonna lie. I was real, real scared. I'm like, is Jerry Lawler just gonna throw the strap down and punch Elias in the face? I mm. really, really don't want that. And no, it just turned into a good segment for Elias. It did. It absolutely did. And also, speaking of fourth wall breaking, we did get. Um, a pelvis Wesley confronting Elias from from Southpaw. If you haven't caught up with this, this is hey. You want to hear something sad? Larry has not watched Southpaw season two yet. Um, uh, hold, Larry, Larry. Just, he does, he look, doesn't look listen to the show. He doesn't listen to the Larry, show. Uh, no, he's sorry, not listening to the show. Sorry, listen, listen, sorry, if I, Larry, if you're I listening to the show, please tweet us. I am about to penetrate the internet into oh, the greater oh, bad area of, of Pittsburgh. No. Accurate choice of words, Sorg. <laughs> Larry, you listen to me right the fuck now. You goddamn watch out, Paul. You watch the fuck out of it. All right, this is my mic talking. You fucking watch out, Paul. Damn it, it's great. All right, anyway. 
Um, but yeah, no, uh, I'm saying I, I'm saying in text to Katie and Aaron who were just here, uh, Larry, uh, and saying uh, you should have stayed. Mike is talking about penetrating uh, uh, Larry. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna leave it at that. I, I think Katie would be into it. That's just me. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I I don't. <laughs> just let's talk about anything else. Okay, speaking of penetration, uh, <laughs> Nia Jax penetrated her way to the women's oh, title scene. Oh, jeez. I don't know. It was a ham-handed segue. I couldn't help it. <laughs> no, but Nia Jax had her own, had her own evolution moment tonight. <laughs> okay. It was pretty great. I, I, I want uh, Nia's hashtag to be, be your own Batista. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, that broke me. That broke me. I got, I got a, t- got a sip of this I tea. I was making sure you weren't drinking when I said that. Thank you for holding off. I'm glad you can see that. In, in your yes, I, I was making sure that you weren't drinking because I didn't want you to snarf all over the place. But oh, yeah, geez. no. How, I mean, how would the studio studio catch on fire? Well, Mike made me laugh, and I had iced tea in my mouth, and it just went on all the important stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, now Naya. Dropping Alexa Bliss is fantastic. It's something that's probably should have been happened, should have happened for a while now. I'm sorry. I, I, do- I'm sorry. I got a tear. Of, or no, I got it like the zipper, the zipper mouth emoji. I don't know what that means. Yep. I think it's kinky. That means um, she's into it, and it's also somewhat bondagey. No, that's anyway, from, no, that's from uh, him. But okay, go ahead. Okay, same deal. <laughs> same deal. I, I don't feel safe in your studio anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, you were saying you're saying about just, uh, evolution just call the moment. Studio, the red room. Anyway, Batista. Uh, <laughs> so Naya, so Naya had her had her be your own Batista moment. Okay, now but, I I understand what you mean now. I, I remember now. All, all that was missing yeah, was the thumbs Batista down. Batista dropping Randy Orton. The, the right. thumbs down. That's right. Yeah. Um. But what does this mean for Sasha? She does anything else, I guess. Um. I mean, poor Sasha. Like, can she have the bell for more than? A, for a while can, she, can she have the bell for more than a defense? She's never successfully defended that title. No, no, but she's like a. She's five never successfully time defended it. No. Yeah. That's that's just weird. It is. That's just really weird. Like, I I don't even know what to make of what they're doing with Sasha at this point. It's almost like they've ruined Sasha as much as they've ruined Bailey. Hmm. But in completely different ways. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's just odd. But still, I mean, it's not like the the, the wins and losses, but still she's getting major things. Like, how many times has she main evented Raw? Right? Yeah, no. I, and, oh, I'm so glad their match may have had Raw as mm-hmm. opposed to the contract signing. Hey, rolling into Because, I mean, the, and- contract signing, the contract signing was great. But if that may have been raw, I would have been very upset. And for most, um, rolling into May Young Classic, at least the first episode on the stream for for uh, network. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, because they they actually put all four episodes up earlier today. It took a lot in me to not watch them before our uh, our live stream later tonight. That's right. We're gonna be watching yes! all four of them, staying up late. And I don't think I brought enough caffeine, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, it keeps me excited. The dog is here. And uh, you know, it's going to be a blast. Sork's going to be staying up till Mad Mike hours to watch the oh, May Young Classic. No. Oh, no. And still try to make an appointment at 1030 in the morning. Ah, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> but, yeah, um, but on in brighter news in the women's division, Emma got a win. Emma got a win, Sorg. She did. She did. Um, like I said, there's a few people here watching Raw, and, and I know I know there was a lot of like really um, um, annoyance with Emma. Why? I love Emma. She's not. And in, I gotta say, hey, I've been a Emma you know fan, but Emma made being ruined from NXT cool before Bailey and Sasha did it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In, some in, say in, some say Emma started the being ruined in on the main roster trend. In in that sense, she absolutely did um, uh, start the revolution, didn't she? <laughs> she? She started it in both senses, sort. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she was the first one they brought up that immediately bombed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I mean, um, Santino and Emma, anyone? Anybody remember that? Mm. No, mm. no. Mm. Um, Sorg, th this, uh, this reminds me of something that I wanted to talk about, because this is the first time I've watched Raw where I couldn't fast forward the commercials in a while. Oh, are you are you talking about how the one getting the most face time is Dolph Ziggler? Um, and Santino and, and Sheamus and Cesaro. Mm hmm And the Fashion Police and Alexa. Mm-hmm. Sorg, why are these titans of athleticism telling me to stump my face hole with fast food? Yeah, yeah, because you look at Cesaro and you're like, that's a guy that eats Burger King on the regular. Yeah, you look at Alexa Bliss and I'm like, she has not touched a carb since she was 16. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> like, uh, what, what, what is up with this? Like, at least Dolph Ziggler is only promoting a shitty phone company. <laughs> Dol Actually, Dolph Ziggler is promoting the Dolph Ziggler of phone companies. <laughs> Oh, always overselling, always under delivering. <laughs> but uh, what is up with this? Like, I, I so I I think you know I I was I made a comment I don't know in person on Twitter something last week when all these commercials started coming up. Um, I was like, you know, if you're worried about Dolph Ziggler's position with the company, they put him on a campaign like that. Don't worry about him. Well, I'm still worried about Rusev. <laughs> well, I think we're all worried about Rusev right now after yeah. recent recent news. <sighs> but uh, all right, so, Sorg, I, I do have one thing I didn't like about Raw tonight. And, and what? Why do we need 45 solid minutes of the Shield Bros and Sheamus and Cesaro wrestling each other? It wasn't. Was it really 45 minutes? It was pretty close. It was. I mean, it was probably like if you if you add commercials and everything, it was pretty close. I think it was like two two segment matches, wasn't it? So probably at least a half yeah. hour. So yeah, yeah, yeah no. Be well, you know, just package that together. Sure. I mean, I guess we're getting the fifty fifty booking out of the way, but yeah, it's like why wouldn't I mean, you wait till we, next week? Let's just do it all like, now. Like we literally just had this two weeks ago. Like, I think the same matchups, too. Like, I think it was still Rollins versus Cesaro and Dean versus Sheamus. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know. It's, like, I'd rather see, and I hate to say this, a six man tag. Really? With who? I think I'd. I, I don't know. Like, let's throw Finn with the Shield Bros and Bray with, with Cesaro and Sheamus. Sorry. Dog's excited about that. It's okay. The dog doesn't like my six man tag idea. No, That's no, fine. he doesn't. No, he the, the the dog says no. Dog says no. <laughs> Sork, what did I tell you about miking up the dog? <laughs> does it sound like he's mic'd? <laughs> oh no. That's right. You you do hear him a little better than everybody else does, It probably. definitely sounds like he's mic'd up. <laughs> but uh I don't know. Look, hear that or throw like all four of them in the in the battle royal. Or something like we can push we can push the storylines a different way than having two separate one on one matches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, but remember we have like still four weeks until this next pay per view. It's at the end of September, so right. what are we doing True. between now and then? I was gonna say I know I guarantee in three weeks we're gonna have two more singles matches, <laughs> at least. All right, uh, uh, should we talk about the Battle Royal that opened the show? Because oh. Battle Royals are always fun. I'm sending you a picture of my dog. This this WWE okay. Raw has been judged by podcast dog. That's fair. That's fair. But, uh, yeah, we have Battle Royal to open up Raw, which is normally a good thing. Who doesn't like a Battle Royal? Um, King Kong Bundy Big, came back tonight, Mike. I was, was going to say, Big Show hates Battle Royals because he never wins them. You know, right. he, 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 okay, so so the people were kind of joking because May Young Classic was released a little early, but yet there were back-to-back -back streams of every WCW Road Wild pay-per-view, pay -per apparently. And I and I tuned in towards the end of it, and it was the Jay Leno one. And I was excited because the first one was like, like Ray Mis or I'm sorry, Chris Jericho and Juventud Huvid, Guerrera, uh, uh, refereed by Dean Malenko. But also then there was some kind of crazy like WCW versus Wolfpack versus in, uh, Black and White kind of thing. And uh, and mm -hmm. and Big Show was in it, and just like wow, this was twenty years ago. 
<laughs> it's almost like some people don't know when to move on. Mm. <laughs> well, or, so, or he did, and 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 there you go. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah, uh, but I I I think they picked the WWE always bets on the wrong Hardy boy. <laughs> I saw that tweet. Yeah, they always bet on the wrong Hardy. They're you know like, what? oh, Jeff sells the merch. Jeff sells the merch. Like, no, no, not anymore. You know, and, and it's no, he sells the music albums. Um, and, and, you know, it, it's. Uh, I didn't expect Jeff. I thought we were going to get Jason Jordan, and it keeps like I was like, mm-hmm. oh, this is the one where Jason Jordan gets it, doesn't it? And he doesn't, and it's like fantastic. Like now, I don't want Jason Jordan to do anything. <laughs> Yeah, I poor I Jason just Jordan. Want, you know what I want, Sork? Hmm. I want Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin to win the tag titles in a week and a half, and I want Jason to just like we just see him clips of him knocking at Gable's hotel room door in the soaking rain, and Gable opens it up and has Shelton, Willing, and Gable on his shirt. And he just looks at him like, oh, sorry, bro, and just shuts the door in his face. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I just I just want this to happen now. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You're there. We can have, like, a single white female type of story, but with, Shel- but with Jason Jordan <laughs> trying to get Chad Gable back. I, I, yeah, that's going to be the most like, curious. I, I want to see what they're doing, Sheldon. You see, Chad Gable finds a cut-up rally towel in his bed. Like, <laughs> just... All these are amazing ideas. Oh, I need to check the chat room because there's been a lot going on in uh, there, I bet. Yeah, Brand- Brandon's saying they have the best Raw tonight because football season's coming up. That's Jeez. probably true. Oh, man, Sork, we're going to get lazy WWE football booking again, aren't we? <laughs> oh, no. And this is exactly what somebody said here. Uh, Teeny saying uh, Nia and Alexa... Should have been at SummerSlam. I, I'm kind of I'm agreeing with that, you know. And, yep. and everybody's so like, much. "Why didn't this happen last week?" At a yep. pay per view. Um, yep. Yeah, exactly. Because it almost seems like, like with the Zazawa thing, it almost seems like they changed the title for no reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does. It does. It, like, it, I, I think, I think they're trying to move the title around a little bit more, just to feel more important and say, "Hey, things happened," you know. Um, is, is it be- is it because they're highlighting that they didn't have two? They only had one singles champion wrestle on their show tonight. Ooh, that's <laughs> a good hmm. That and see, this is what that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want Brock to wrestle every week. Right, I don't. That right. would that would be idiotic. Right, but an occasional tag match here and there to build up for one of his pay per views is not a terrible idea. Mm-hmm. Because you have to figure a lot of the younger kids these days, if the, if they're new fans, they have not seen Brock Lesnar wrestle. It's true. I mean, you know, uh, that's just how I see it sometimes. Because how Sork? Imagine if like two weeks before SummerSlam, we got Braun and Brock versus Reigns and Roman. Jeez, <laughs> come on. That would have been amazing. That that would be that would be good. All right, from the chat room. Um, yes. How about the almost Bullet Club reunion? Oh God! Nice little sneak I, in there. I feel so bad for the club. I feel so bad for the buried club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, can, like now, uh, and I said this on on Twitter too. Now that Pelvis Wesley is in canon, <laughs> Kim. He is. He is time traveled from 1987 to become just as impressive Pelvis Wesley. Mm-hmm. Can we just he's have a, he's the well. club rebooted as che- as text too bad? Oh, yes. Like there are so many people that I just want re- repackaged completely to their um, Southpaw gimmicks. Dolph Ziggler's a great example. The Ascension's a great example. The club's mm-hmm. a great example. Hell, I would love to see Seth Rollins and Rhino as the butchers. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be fantabulous. I don't know. Like, like the, just the. I mean, we would appreciate it. 
I know. But or how well, about this? How about this, Sork? Re- remember when we had Raw Retro Night? Yeah, I was thinking that, but but okay. Here's the problem: is I feel like that's it's too small of a crowd, and if you just throw it on a Monday night, it'll confuse everybody. What, you know what they need to do, do do it during one Monday night football game where they know everyone's gonna watch. That's true. Like that's like true. Patriots versus fuck Falcons or something. I don't know if that's yeah. a Monday night football game. Just pick any Patriots Monday night football game where you know you're going to have a shit rating and do something fun. I feel like this is the kind of thing maybe you do before a, a Raw or a SmackDown and you just film a Southpaw wrestling wrestling show Yes. and put it on the network. Yes. And and have the commentators be Lance Catamaran and Chet Chatterson. And then also knowing, I mean, also knowing and realizing here that we're completely ripping off the idea of old wrestling, <laughs> but who are amazing, uh-huh. by the way. But, um, but I mean, but still, like, it would be their version of it, and I think that's okay. But uh, it, I think it would be fantastic. And what was Mrs. Character? Because Mrs. Character was really good, too. Mrs. Car- oh, Dung. Dung? 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 Oh, yeah. The uh, dung. Yeah. Dung. Yeah. Oh no. Um. Doong. It was doong. Doong. Because it had the little colon over the. the Mike. Year. How much yes, of raw? I how much? How much of raw was was watchable tonight? I'm feeling generous this week. I'll say an hour fifty. Whoa, that's high for you. I'm going no, easy. An, to- an hour fifty because I'm taking out anything to do with the Shield Bros. Oh. Oh. I want to no, go. We're gonna see it again in two weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna go two thirty. Okay, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty typical for me, I suppose. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, and uh, and and what do you know? What was your? What, let us know comments on this. If you're checking us on Facebook or YouTube, or us on Twitter at Mayhem Show uh, with uh, let us know raw wrap up. How much of raw was watchable for you this week? Um, Bray Wyatt interference. I'm not even gonna get to Bray Wyatt with you tonight because oh, we no, <laughs> no, we're not. Even, we're not even getting. You know what? We'll talk for his Bray. We'll talk about Bray Wyatt for as long as he appeared on screen, and we're done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out <laughs> everything. Please subscribe to the Raw Wrap Up on your iTunes uh, as well as I believe we're still on Stitcher, uh, Spreaker, and iHeart. No, we're not on iHeart Radio. Where is that? Google Music. That was the one I was trying to say. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, we're here live after Raw goes off the air on the Facebook Live for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, please support the show on Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show and so much more wrestling at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Mad Mike? Yes, Sorg. Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitters. That Mad Mike four eighty three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to Ad Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sorg, I'm 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 ready to watch some ladies fight. Yes, if you're here live with us, we'll be on Facebook Live momentarily, and uh, you can sync up if you're staying up late with us, uh, one and two, or the rest of the episodes of the May Young Classic, or you can roll back. That will be still probably if we did things correctly, uh, still on the Facebook Live page um, at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. Um, you can join us there as well. It's it's going to be – I don't know. We haven't tried something for four hours like this. So we're going to see how this goes. And it's very late on a Monday night. And I'm curious what weirdos are going to come to my window with all the lights on. So there's that. Uh, until <laughs> next week, guys, keep it. <laughs>